the first time I could work his pieces with Ligeti was as a member of the Ensemble Terre Contemporain. I think in the early 80s. And I have a strong remembering with Aventures and Nouvelles Aventures. Uh, what was, well, his advices were just uh, <laughs> incredible. And both incredibly inspiring and destabilizing. Uh, both obviously like the truth and <laughs> completely out of this world somewhere. It was very impressive. And then in the mid 80s, I guess in 85, I started to work in, as a chamber musician for the recording of the horn trio that he was supposed to be directing artistically, but then he fell sick several times, so that we postponed the recording several times, and at the end, Mr. Boulez proposed to replace him as an artistic director for this recording. And on the same recording, uh, I recorded uh, for the first time the six first etudes and prepared them uh, with him, of course. And then, little by little, um, it seems that he wished to have one, uh, well, particular pianist uh, close to him in terms of partnership. And in fact, I played many concerts, uh, well, as a portrait of his music or in festivals or when a new piece was commissioned or when he won a prize or in many occasions. So in fact, I premiered, I think, the, the, the second half of the etudes, more or less. Something like nine pieces, I guess. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, and this was fascinating, because, well, you would receive the scores and you would be the first person to, well, to play the piece. That means you could observe his reaction by hearing his own piece for the first time with sounds and time. Not to hear his piece in his inner world, but really with sounds. And I had the feeling that at the start, even if he had a very precise vision or idea of his piece, of course, but he was looking for the way how the piece could be played in the real world to reflect his thoughts. So looking for the right tempo, the right sonority, the right articulation, the right character somewhere. Well, of course, he had a representation of all these dimensions in him, but he had to adapt it in the sounding world. So this research for the the right interpretation or a possible right interpretation was really fascinating, especially his way to look for or to find metaphors, incredible metaphors with his um, marvelous imagination, his, with an incredible free fantasy. And obviously at some moments he looked for different directions, incredible metaphors, until some of them remained the, the uh, well, the best uh, for speaking about a piece. <laughs> 